In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday, Holy Mother Church celebrates Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday occurred 50 days after the resurrection of our Lord, and 10 days after the ascension of our Lord. And ironically enough, it is 100 days after the beginning of the Great Lent, the Shubakono, the Reconciliation Service. On Pentecost Sunday, which we call the birthday of the Church, the Holy Spirit empowered the Apostles to speak in different tongues in the marketplace. And there the Apostles preached the Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And there, Peter, as the head of the Church, spoke on their behalf. On Pentecost, before Pentecost, there were nine calendar days, which we call a novena. So, they say there are ten days between the Ascension of our Lord and Pentecost Sunday. But if you talk about from the Friday, after the Ascension of our Lord, to the Saturday before Pentecost, there are nine calendar days. And those nine days were the original novena. As we know, prayer for nine days, or novena, is considered a novena, and there are many popular novenas in the Church to saints and Mother Mary. But that time, that holy time, was the original novena, where Mother Mary strengthened the Apostles, strengthened them and guided them with her maternal guidance. There we see that probably Mary, maybe she talked to the Apostles about Jesus' early life, or maybe about His great qualities, strengthening them, encouraging them, helping them be more open to God and His will in the midst of the confusion and misunderstandings. And so when Pentecost Sunday occurred, the Holy Spirit came like fire upon the Apostles. And there they experienced the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And they were courageous. And what happened? Ten of the original Apostles died as martyrs. Matthias, who replaced Judas Iscariot, also died a martyr. Saint John even though he did not die a martyr, nonetheless, he was the beloved disciple, and he loved the Lord so much. So Pentecost Sunday, they spread the message of the whole gospel to the whole world. My dear brothers and sisters, do we believe in the power of Pentecost? Do we believe, are we open to the Holy Spirit? Are we open to His graces? Do we believe where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom? These are serious questions we must ask ourselves. For if we are open to the Holy Spirit, how do we become open to the Holy Spirit? Through praying. By praying to our Lord, He will send our, the Holy Spirit upon us. and He will strengthen us to be courageous, to live for the Lord, and to die for the Lord. So let us this Pentecost Sunday, more than maybe in years past, past embrace the Holy Spirit. Embrace His graces. And we can all pray together. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the, our, your faithful. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. May the Almighty God bless you all, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.